Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of TM3 Life. Today, we're going to install carbon fiber mud guards. Okay guys, so it's another day. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll go over what we need for tools to do this, and then we'll go through the steps and the process that we're gonna to use to actually make this happen. So let's take a look at what we have today. As you can see, we have our trusty isopropyl alcohol. We have our microfiber towel. We have a flathead screwdriver. We have some 3M adhesive tape. We have our trusty heat gun. We've used that many times before. And of course, we have our carbon fiber mud flats. And we'll be installing those today right here. I've actually turned the wheel to the left so that we have more room to work on the front. First thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna clip in the front mud guard, swing it up into place where we want it, and we're gonna mark that so we know where to run the adhesive. And let's go ahead, get this installed, uh, well at least partially installed, and then we'll mark where the top is. Okay, first thing first, I'm going to go ahead and pop this clip out because that's going to be the clip that's going to hold in the bottom of our mud guard. And what we'll do is once that's in there, we're going to rotate this up into place so we're happy where the, where the alignment is so we know exactly where to mark for the strip, the adhesive strip to be put. So let's go ahead and pop this out. Okay, there's our clip. All right, let's put it through our hole in our mud guard and then fit it back in to the car. Clip it back in spot and then get this in alignment where we're happy with it. Let's take a look and see if we can figure out where we want it. see it doesn't offer a whole heck of a lot of ground deflection it's really more along the side which I think will help quite a bit um, but I'm not really sure how far out I want this to be I could go out like this but I'm really thinking I want to get that in there pretty tight Let's see from a distance if I like that and on the inside here margin of protection for the front. So what we'll do is go ahead and mark for the top of that. Yes, this is Sharpie, but again, it'll come off with isopropyl alcohol. All right, there's our mark. Now we just got to run the adhesive. First things first, we're going to take isopropyl alcohol and clean the area where we're going to be applying the adhesive. Trying not to get rid of our mark there. Making sure we actually do clean this really well. And this has already taken a bit of a beating. There's, so there's, there's some paint chipped here already. Um, but we're going to be covering up I think most of that with this adhesive which should protect it from any more elements getting in there. There we go. That's clean enough. Let's take an adhesive strip off. 
and run it from our line. Our line is right there. I'm going to run it on the inside. It's really, really sticky. Let's run this down. So then what we're going to do is we're going to peel off just a little bit of the, the uh, red backing here and then we'll lift this into place um, and then we'll work the adhesive off, you know, we'll pull it down as we put this in, in the place that we want it and then we'll push this into position so that it stays where exactly, exactly where we want it. And that'll be pretty pretty excellent. So what we're going to do is move this down and we're going to look for some spot to peel some of this away here. Always seems to be, can always seem to be a pretty challenging part to get this red, red backing tape off. Okay, there we go. So now we got a little bit of this pulled away like that around the side of the car. And now I'm gonna get my heat gun and heat this up. This is where the heat gun comes in. You really want this nice and hot. The hotter we can make this, the easier it's gonna stick right where we want it. should be hot enough for now and then we'll heat it up again once we've applied this right where we want it. I'm going to try to get it right in that spot right there and then we can slowly peel this off holding it up there. It's coming off and then we're going to push this right into place. Nice and firm giving it a good push makes that adhesion that we're looking for. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat it up again from this side of the carbon fiber, which will transfer through to the 3M adhesive. Okay, heated that up again. Oh yeah, nice and hot. Just gonna try it. I'm gonna use, actually use, gonna use a microfiber towel because this is very, very hot. I just want to get that pushed up real good. I don't want to burn my hand at the same time that I'm doing this because I did make that very, very hot. But I want to make that hot because I really want this adhesive to grab because the only thing that's holding this up on the top is the adhesive. Obviously, we got a good clip down here that holds that into place. But up here, it's just the adhesive. Now, these mud guards are made by a company called Protect My Tesla. And they've had theirs on a car, I believe in Minnesota, for over a year. So through the winter and everything, and they haven't had a single problem with these coming off or anything like that. So I suspect this Vermont winter isn't going to be any worse than Minnesota winter. As I've been through Minnesota, if you guys have been following my channel during the winters, so I know that their winters are pretty much just like ours. Maybe a little colder, I thought it was the polar vortex when I was there. Great. So that is mud guard number one. Here we are in the back. Obviously, unless I wanted to jack it up and take off the rear wheel, we don't really have a lot of room to work with. But that's okay, we don't need a ton of room. Again, we're going to go ahead and remove this clip down here. Because that's the clip that the, uh, the, mud, uh, the mud guard uses. Come on. Of course, it's very, very dirty. Very dirty. Wow. Now, again, it's the same small clip that we had in the front, but the company supplies a larger, longer clip to replace that small one because of the angle that this has to go in. So we, we do have a larger clip. Let's take a look at the difference between the two clips. This is the one that I took out. And this is the one that they gave to replace it. 
You can put it in with the original clip, but apparently it goes in a lot harder. So let's go ahead and clean off the area, just like we did up front. We're gonna get that clean with the isopropyl alcohol. So again, this car is about 11 months old, and you know it's gone through winter all throughout the United States with that road trip that I took. So it's seen it's seen its fair share of uh, uh, bad weather for sure. So I'm sure this is already all dinged up right here, but this will help prevent it from getting any worse. I should point out these are shaped a little bit differently because they've got a contour to the rear bumper which is different from the front. So we're going to go ahead and stick this in with the new clip and find out where that top mark is. I'm going to come around this side so I can have better room to get this all the way in. Okay, that's good enough. I'm not going to clip it in place yet. I'm just going to mark where this goes, where I'm going to want it to go. So again, I'm going to use that Sharpie. I'm going to mark the top because I'm going to put, I'm actually going to push it up against here. There's a lot of curvature here. I want to make sure I have the, the top part marked. There we go. So we're just going to drop that right down, let it rest, and we're going to put an adhesive strip on it. Let me see if I can see my mark. There it is. The bumper. I'm going to have to turn this as we come down. So that's nice and tight. And again, we're going to do the same thing that we did last time. And that's going to be to try to peel back some of this and then we'll heat it with the heat gun to promote better adhesion. Oh, this is so hard to get this off sometimes. I'm getting it. This comes off really hard. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna peel it down, pull that back, and again, we're gonna heat it with the heat gun. All right, that should be hot enough to pull this up into place where I want it. And it's gonna be right about there. Okay, and I've got to clip this in now. Now I've got to push the clip in. There we go. That's in now. That's definitely not going anywhere. Now let's try to pull off the backing all the way down and then we'll sit this in place. Right up. Remember, it's very bendy. So we've got to push this hard and bend it to conform to the fender. I can see why they used a longer pin because the longer there's a lot of pressure here. And then again, we're going to heat it from the back to promote more adhesion. Okay, and I'm going to use the microfiber towel trying to stay away from the tire to really push that in. Nice and tight. Let's, let's take a look at how this looks from the back side. That gives it a good look. Again, it doesn't come down real low, but it does offer a decent amount of side protection. And it goes along very well with the front one up there. So we'll get a close look at both of these um, once I have all four of them installed. So I'm going to move over to the passenger side and basically repeat the same process. And while I'm doing that, you 
guys can go and uh, check out some Snapple facts. Hello folks, welcome back to another Snapple Facts. Let's learn something new today. Snapple fact number one. The most sensitive parts of the body are their mouth and fingertips. Okay, a lot of nerve endings there. Fact number one. Fact number two. It takes an interaction of 72 muscles to produce human speech. Hmm. I do talk a lot, so I assume my muscles are pretty well exercised. <laughs> okay, thanks for joining us on another episode of Snapple Facts, and back to your regular programming. Hi everybody, welcome back from Snapple Facts. Again, I hope you all learned something. Now let's go ahead and see how it all turned out. Jarvis, why don't you come on out? the carbon fiber mud guards and hopefully that'll help protect a little bit of the paint on the bottom side of the car. I hope you enjoyed this episode of TM3 Life and if you did please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already and you want to, and as always, let's keep those batteries charged. <laughs>